Has the camera really been redefined? Let's find out. The Samsung Galaxy S9. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. I've been using an iPhone since back in the iPhone 5 series, and I love the convenience and the ecosystem of the Apple product line. However, I hate some of the technology trends that are coming out in the iPhone, so I've been looking for an Android phone to finally replace it, and maybe the S9 is that phone. First, we gotta get it out of the box. talk about the full specs of the Samsung Galaxy S9 in a full review that I'll do in a couple weeks. But today for my initial impressions, let's cover the specs that are most important to me. First up, the screen. The screen is a 5.8-inch Quad HD Super AMOLED 2960 by 1440 screen, and it is so good. It looks fantastic. Like, I cannot go to a store and try this out just to see how good the screen is. The video is not going to do it justice. It has a blazing fast Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 with 4 gigabytes of RAM. It also also has a 3000 milliamp hour battery that should give you plenty of juice but for me the main deal is the camera. The front camera is an 8 megapixel sensor with awesome autofocus. It is a 1 over 3.6 inch sensor. It has an 80 degree field of view and an f 1.7 aperture. But what Samsung says will redefine the camera together is this beast on the back and that's the main camera which is a super speed dual pixel autofocus 12 megapixel sensor size 1 over 2.55 inches. It has a 77 degree field of view and a dual aperture. Pause for just a second. Let that let that sink in dual aperture. So what the aperture is, is like there are a set of irises on a camera that they let in light by closing or opening. This has f1.5 or f2.4. This is the first cell phone camera that I'm aware of that has a mechanical aperture. That you can change it between 1.5 2.4. That's incredible. That is incredible. It can record 4K video in 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. It can record 1080p HD video at 30 to 60. 720p? It can do that at 30 frames per second because we all care about 720p at 30 frames per second. 720p, yay. Except for the super slow motion function which can record 720p at 960 frames per second. And it has a headphone jack. Dun, dun, dun. I love the headphone jack. I I'm already convinced that I love this phone just on the headphone jack. That's one of the things that we were talking about earlier that I don't like that iPhone's doing. It's taking away the headphone jack. I need a headphone jack. Oh. And it's rated to IP68. This protection is just amazing. I'm just I'm gushing about this phone because I'm really impressed that they're able to do all this. And at about $400 cheaper than the iPhone X. Yeah. So here's my initial impressions of the Samsung Galaxy S9 after playing around with it all day today. So the feel. The phone just feels great. I mean, this glass back and front, uh, it feels really high quality. I like how small it is. That's why I went with the S9 instead of the 9 Plus. It's small, but the screen is huge. We'll talk about the screen in a second. It's small, but the screen is huge, and it just feels, it feels so good. And like I said, the headphone jack, you're gonna win me all the time with a headphone jack. All the time you will win me over with a headphone jack. I think they're that important. So the screen, the screen is just gorgeous. I mean, I'm so impressed by what this thing looks like. It's incredible. It's one of the sharpest displays I've ever seen on a small device. Like seriously, at some point today, go into a store and check out one of these just to see the screen. It's it's really good. Usability. Again, I'm coming from iOS and I'm a big fan of iOS and how usable it is, how easy it is to get everything. Just in the day I've been playing around with this, everything seems really usable. It's really easy to find all the functions I want to use. I like how easy it is to move between the apps. Like the, the camera app is super simple, very intuitive to use. I really like the usability of this phone. We'll have to determine whether it plays nice with all the apps that I generally use 
and whether I'll be able to use this as my main driver as opposed to the iPhone. But to the main event, the camera. Like we said, the dual aperture of the camera is groundbreaking for the cell phone camera market. It might be the technological leap that is the final nail in the coffin of the point and shoot camera market. The f1.5 setting on this is faster than some of the prime lenses I have for my mirrorless camera. My favorite prime lens is an f1.7 and this f1.5, it can let in so much light. It's just, it does have software tricks that it can do to make low light look better, but it doesn't need to do as many of those because it lets more light into the camera. It's basically like having two prime lenses on your cell phone. And this is an audio and low light test of the Samsung Galaxy S9. So audio test one, two, three, four. I really hope I'm in frame because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the back of the camera right now, but let's see. Let's see how the low light works. So let's drop the light down. Let's see. Okay. This is no light except, you know, the backlight and some light that's spilling in that's not optimal, but let's bring it up. Let's see if we can shock it. Whoa. Whoa. It's so high. Down. Back, back up, down. Down, up, 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 down. Down, 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 up. Up, oh, up, oh, so this is maxed out. Let's see how good it compensates. I might be overexposed right now, but drop it. Up, down, okay, low light. So this is the low light test. Let's, I don't know how well it's, how well it's gonna work, but I'm sure it's working pretty well. Here's some, here's about what my, here's about what my light normally looks like when I'm using my A6300. And then this is maxed out where it hurts to look at. I can, I can see in the glass back, I can see the ring light really reflecting in my eyes right now. It's kind of freaking. It's really an incredible accomplishment and I just, I can't gush enough about how awesome of an achievement this is because normally cell phones are terrible in low light. It's hard to control your lighting with a cell phone. Well, now it's a lot easier because now you can pick between physical apertures. The camera has all the normal controls you'd find on any other camera app or in a camera. So we're not gonna talk about those too much, but there are some highlights that I really wanna mention. The autofocus is lightning fast. I mean, it focuses almost faster than the object gets into the frame. It's, it's amazing. Like it is mind boggling how well it's able to focus. It's incredible. It also lets you pull focus really easily. You can tap anywhere on the screen to focus on whatever you want in the frame to be in focus. And one of the benefits, and another one of the benefits of having a faster lens is you can have a shallower depth of field. The image quality outside looks, I mean, it just looks fantastic. All cell phone cameras these days look really good. Even the Sony XA2 that costs like 400 bucks looks really good. Now I've never used a Google Pixel. I know that has the internet's favorite camera on a cell phone. I don't have that, but this is my favorite cell phone camera ever. It looks... Another cool feature is the slow motion like we mentioned earlier. Now what it does is it sets up like a box, you start recording, and as soon as something enters the box, it automatically begins slow motion. This is my Mavic Air in sport mode with about a 10 foot head start. It's going pretty fast and look how slow it is. That's pretty cool. So what, right? So what are my initial impressions of the Samsung Galaxy S9? I mean, the phone's amazing. There's every other video you're gonna watch today because there's a thousand Samsung Galaxy S9 videos are gonna tell you the same thing. It's amazing. And long time viewers will know I've been looking for a phone to be a secondary camera, to be a secondary drone controller, and basically to be like a pocket portable computer that I can use to function everything in the channel behind the scenes. And I think I really found, I think this really knocks it out of the park because um, I've been using the XA2 and it's been doing okay, but this thing is just so good. I'm really impressed by this phone. Now Samsung didn't send this to me. You know, I got this the day it was released because I paid for it, so nobody's paying me to say that. I'm just really that impressed by this cell phone. But we'll continue messing around with this. We'll release some videos comparing this to other things. We'll do a full review of it after I've had a chance to really use it and abuse it. And if you have anything that you want to see out of the Samsung Galaxy S9, leave a comment below and I will make sure to include that in a future video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button down below. We flipped it around this week. Normally we do Drone Flight Friday on Friday and Tech Reviews on Monday, but we did Drone Flight Monday and then Tech Review Friday, so... It, we keep it spicy here, keep it spicy. Definitely subscribe for the spiciness. And it's Friday, so it's time to thank all of the wonderful patrons that support this channel. Thank you to each and every one of you. Without you, the channel would be lesser. If you'd also like to become a patron and support the channel and join the awesome team we've got here, go ahead and click here, ding, to go to my Patreon account. Seriously, thanks. And to thank each of the individual patrons, thanks to Jeff Baker, AC Visanu, Casey Jones, Wayne Dawson, Nick Alston, Kevin Nichols, Wally Garza, James Wan, William Hughes, Curran Charles, Victor Orhan Sarrios, Stan Cook, Southern Adventures, Rodney, Mark Williams, and Stephen Shires. That list gets longer every week. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you to each of you that support the channel. I really appreciate it. Well, hey, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure out that 
This is a portable computer and it might be everything I've ever wanted out of a portable computer with an amazing camera. You can figure it out. Thanks for watching.